So this is a quick tip. We're making a uh, a spigot on the end. And so if, whenever you have these water jugs, like um, if you have like the, the 55 gallon barrels or like this is a 15 gallon barrel. But it has the same holes as the big 55. It has the same types of holes. They're just small, you know, like, I mean, Ember can like barely get her hand in. I can't get my hand in. Archer can get your hand in. <laughs> oh, look, she can, but her arm won't reach. So what we want to do is we have to actually get the spigot. Excuse me, children. And, and they have, you know, we have to get inside in order to get, you know, the, the spigot. So. Um, yeah. to, to tighten that on. Yeah, to, to tighten yeah, so the spigot on, basically. So we need that to go inside. So, so now, so now this is a trick. I'm going to show you because. So we saw this trick online. Yes. And we're going to try it out for the first time ever. Yes, this is not our original trick. <laughs> this is something that we saw online. There'll be a link down below to the original, which husband will share with me. Are you okay? I'm fine. All right. So. I guess basically the idea is that you just need to find something that can go inside and pull on the back and tie it. So the first thing we have to do is drop some cord into the bucket and then we have to get it out on this side and then this is our portion that goes on the outside and then these two are the ones that go on the inside like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna stick the uh, the string through, and then I'm just using this is just a regular extension that I had, but anything long can go. And basically, what it's gonna do is it's gonna hold it back against against the inside. So I'm gonna drop this in, and then pull like that. And that pulls it. Yep, I can see it pulling. And all I gotta do is get this in. You can see, see how it's holding it on there? And then I use this and I can screw this in. Look at that. Wow. Can you see? Sorry. Look at that. My goodness. Uncle. <laughs> you wanna see? It's taking a little bit of wiggle in, right? Yeah. Is it doing it? Do you want me to hold the string? Hold on. Get your wiggle So, I think the hard part is that the inside portion is still spinning. It's on there. It's no. it's started, but it's spinning. it's spinning. So, at this point... Tape that part. End of a rod, whatever rod. Now that's gonna go back down. It needs to hold, otherwise it'll just spin, spin, spin. Alright. Hold it. You got it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that. It worked. That's okay. actually kind of insane. <laughs> These are the lengths you go to. So there it is. So it's still taped on there, everything. So now all we need to do is just cut the tape off to get the rod out. Hold on. There you go, look in. So I want to get the tape off. I can rip it off right now, but I don't want the tape to get stuck on there. Like that. <laughs> mm. 
All right, after some work with the coat hanger, he got the tape off. He could also use like painter's tape, but as husband said, he wanted the tape to actually stick on, but <laughs> the, he peeled it off. He had a little hook on the end and he just, he just worked at it to, to peel it off. Basically, so it's off. Basically, I just used this to kind of scrape, scrape the edges until I got some free. And then I got it in there and just started twirling it until it wrapped itself up. And then I was able to like wiggle it and get the tape from around off. Yeah, the tape wasn't on there too hard. But anyway, okay. So now it's well, screwed on. There it is. We now have. Now where's little... our spigot? No, we've got a bulkhead. Yeah. An adapter on it. There's a little adapter to make it go down to half an inch. And then. This adapter is our half inch for uh, the PEX. What is this? So this is uh, the 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 slang term for it is pipe dope, but uh, basically it's just this stuff that you you use on uh, plumbing connections to make it watertight. It's called uh, Rector Seal pipe thread sealant. I use this for all of our water stuff and our gas stuff. All right, so basically we're gonna we're gonna use this tank and integrate it into our uh, our water system inside, which is all with half inch PEX. Um, you can use these bulkheads to put regular spigots to turn on and off. Um, so this one is just a little it's just a little straight hole that goes into our PEX. Uh, in the house. Yeah, and, we've, uh, we've done the on and off spigots for our rain collection systems when we made, when we set up this uh, for like trash cans or whatever, the, the food grade stuff for uh, rain collection, but yeah. This black piece right here is literally the only thing you need to put a spigot on. You would use that black piece and that's threaded three quarters on the inside and that's what a spigot would go directly into. So we've just got this little white adapter to adapt it down to our half inch for the PEX for our specific application. Yep. Well, there it is. Now you have gravity fed. So nice. It's so much better than having to use electricity or something to pump the water out. Now you have nice Yeah, we would fed. just take this and set it down on top of something and, and you got the gravity feed. It's not amazing pressure, but it's, it's pretty good. It's not bad. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>